Uh, hey everybody, Sam from Crash Course Hammer here. Uh, you'll have to excuse my voice, I have a cold. Today I thought I'd just do a, um, a quick little video uh, because I was thinking back onto that, uh, that video Matt Easton did a little while ago about uh, gymnasium sabres in Britain. And he pointed out that uh, by 1897, uh, and indeed a little bit earlier, the military system was basically based on Italian sabre, and subsequently an Italian sabre uh, trainer was brought into use. Now one of the key features of it, and other uh, sort of various gymnasium sabres, was that the blade was quite thin, uh, much more akin to modern fencing sabres, Olympic sabres, but it often had a large counterbalance. Now, this in many ways is similar to what uh, the um, the uh, the sort of flare, the shilt on the bottom of a lot of long swords and um, and even even some side swords and smaller swords uh, functioned as. At least it's my belief that's what it primarily really uh, functioned as. Second, you know, secondary, you know, finger protection might have been useful and maybe something to do with coming to the bind as well, but predominantly I think it was a weight distribution thing. So, today I thought I'd whip up a quick experiment that you can do at home as well. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some sticky tape. Any sticky tape will do, electrical tape as well. A ruler measured out to about 10 or 15, uh, 10 or 12 centimetres, sorry. Okay. A bunch of fishing sinkers okay now this one's four ounce uh, but you'll need a couple so just get whatever you can and of course an Olympic fencing saber alright so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the tape you're gonna get your sinker okay and you're basically going to tape the sinker onto the sword now it doesn't have to be perfect um, you know if you want to put it behind the blade because you can you certainly can do that, but the fact of the matter is, this isn't really about using them, uh, just so much as a neat little experiment uh, to demonstrate that, yes, you can have what you might call a soft-hitting weapon, okay, such as an Olympic saber blade, so it hits quite gently, doesn't need a lot of protection, but that it can be made to weigh approximately the same, have a similar point of balance, and eh, more or less kind of operate uh, in the same way. Although, of course, the hand feeling would be totally whack. The grip isn't right, the guard isn't right, but that's not sort of the point of this experiment. So just attach the sinkers on until you get close to 800 grams. We want a sword of a total weight of 800 grams. Most Olympic sabers are about 400 grams, okay? This is a little four ounce weight, which is however many grams that is, but I'm gonna get about three of them and put them on. So. Do that and put them. And once you're done, get rid of the tape. Like so, just make sure they're all kind of on, like that. And you will have, subsequently, a saber with a whole bunch of fishing, <laughs> fishing weights on. And uh, there we go. So I've attached the weights. Uh, along the forte, um, and the point of balance is indeed, if I get my get my measuring tape, is, I've measured it, is indeed about uh, 10 centimeters from uh, the tip of the guard, just to prove that point, so uh, 10 centimeters as you can see is about there, so I'm going to pick it up about here, Oop. If I try to carefully balance it, oh, there we go. So we're looking at about, see it tips a little bit that way, shuffle this way, oh, so there we go. It sort of balances at about 10 or so centimeters uh, from the guard, which is um, a little bit, a little bit lower than normal, but otherwise within an acceptable so here I'm getting uh, a few test items out. So here we just have a standard child size Olympic sabre. Um, oddly enough it is in fact the correct length for some military infantry sabres. 
And as you can see, it's very fast, so I'm just sort of flicking it around, uh, doing some moulinets, uh, no special attention to edge alignment, but as you can see, incredibly easy to move. Now, as a comparison, here we have my regimental style Scottish broadsword, uh, darkwood armoury with a, I think it's a Paul Chen or something hilt, and immediately, as you can see, it's much more difficult to move. I can't flick it, I can't put my thumb up along the back, it's quite a small basket, quite comfy. Moulinets are a little bit uh, difficult. Um, if I had more space, more room, it'd be much easier. And as you can see, there's no grip, so I'm holding it by the tang, which certainly doesn't help. Uh, now, you might wonder why did I show you that, and why am I showing you the little Olympic saber again? Well, you'll see in a second. So you'll notice how fast the Olympic Saber is, the unmodified one. Silly back edge cut there. Um, <laughs> and how eh, reasonably slow the broadsword is, although you know what you lack in speed to make up the power. Here is the Olympic Saber with weights. Look how fast it goes. Getting myself ready. And look at that. Straight away, it is much more difficult to move it around with any volume. In fact, at this point I'm starting to struggle. You'll see I'm choking up on it in order to get the balance a little bit different. I'm putting my thumb up along the blade uh, to get that edge alignment. But as you can see, it was pretty, pretty difficult. And the tempo was much, much slower. So just as a quick modification, um, <coughs> I added another sink down here to act sort of like a pommel, I guess. There's the original one of those, and I moved these other two up. Now, that means this is at least 800 grams, the whole thing, the Olympic Sabre with all the, all the lead weights on it, and it totally changes how you use it. Um, it really does affect the, the, here we go, I'll go to a mirror, it really does affect, like, the weight distribution of it. And if I can do this, like, oh, you know, it, yeah. It definitely changes the uh, changes the balance, um, but obviously, obviously uh, that's not really <laughs> that's not really a practical uh, sort of decision. So the point of balance is at 12 centimeters now. It is indeed overall about 800 grams the whole weapon, um, but as you can see, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit messy. Not quite. Not quite really what we're aiming for. So there you go, guys. Um, does this serve any purpose? Not really, no. Um, you definitely can't use it with sticky tape on it. The weight is on the forte, which is exactly where you want to block, so it's not really usable there. Um, however, I think it is a great little demonstration of physics. Um, you know, weight distribution, mass distribution. Um, and I think that <clears throat> with a little bit of thought, it's given me an idea. And I think that with a little bit of tweaking, um, I might be able to whip something up that um, can essentially act like these weights, but actually still mean you can use them in sparring. So give it a try if you've got a spare ollie saver hanging around home and a fishing rod and some sinkers and stuff, and just muck around with the point of balance of it. Because I think uh, if you need a light hitting weapon that's cheap as chips, you know, an Olympic saver is the way to go. And if you need to bring it up to balance, well, you know, practice with some sinkers. You never know what you might be able to make. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.